Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, Intentions for Black Lives Summer Solstice Ritual. I'm so glad that you could join us today. Um, we are so happy that you're with us. Summer Solstice marks the longest day of the year and the official beginning of summer. Indigenous peoples across the world acknowledge this day as the start of the Earth's fueling for the harvest. In summer, the growers of the world find both the light and the rains that will lend to bountiful harvests, both in summer and after summer wanes. For those who observe its presence, summer solstice is a celebration of the gifts and the powers that the sun provides. This year, summer solstice falls on Father's Day. On this day in the United States, we celebrate the positive contributions of those who parent who happen to be male. Today, we celebrate those who father in helpful and conscious ways, while also acknowledging that unchecked father rule, what we call patriarchy, has been the root of a lot of pain in our current society. For this summer solstice ritual, we aim to use our powers of intention to strike a blow to white supremacist patriarchy, the root of much harm in Western culture while simultaneously calling forth and amplifying a masculinity that brings ease and comfort to the wounds that patriarchy has caused. We are so glad you can join us. I will hand it off to Shanti Moore to start us off. This is a notice to white supremacy, the patriarchy, and every structure and system of oppression that has attempted to subjugate humanity for its own nefarious purposes and gains. Your days are numbered and the writing has been on the wall. Black, indigenous and people of color have for years played by your rules and have attempted to assimilate into your soulless culture to our detriment and demise. We have under duress contributed our blood, sweat, pain and tears to the creation and maintenance of a parasitic structure that has used everything within its power to keep us enslaved. Today, we say no more. We recognize as Ephesians 612 states that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places. This is spiritual warfare. And today on this summer solstice, we are taking up spiritual arms against white supremacy and the patriarchy. We are moving in the energy of the Haitian revolution and will use every tool of the occult at our disposal to see that these systems of oppression crumble. We declare and affirm in the present moment that Babylon is falling and power is being transferred to those who work toward the upliftment of humanity and the restoration of planet Earth. And so it is. Okay. And now I will pass it back to Kenyatta Chinway. There is a masculine principle that exists that uplifts and encourages. There is masculinity that is divine. In the energy of the solstice sun, we call forth this divine masculine energy that works in partnership with divine feminine energy. We set intentions for the emergence and expansion of a masculinity that understands that protection does not mean oppression and that provision does not mean possession. We make space for masculinity strong enough to be vulnerable brave enough to be peaceful and flexible enough to traverse the binary. And we commit to holding space for this masculinity's full manifestation. In doing so, we make room for a world that is more whole, happier, and safer for us all. Ashe. Ashe. And now I pass it to Charity Woods Barnes, who will take us through some ritual. Hello everyone, thank you for joining us. So I um, put together a couple things for the summer solstice rituals. We had actually um, originally planned to be outside under the beautiful sun and do some things um, there and share that with you, but the weather and mother nature had different plans. So we're going to uh, pivot. 
So I, I was thinking about this rain and just uh, how wonderful it is, even though it may be a bit inconvenient for some. And the use of rainwater and ritual is really powerful. So this is a really good time to collect rainwater, uh, particularly if you're in the Southeast, uh, like we are and experiencing some of the uh, blowback from the hurricane. And we also send love and light to our folks who are experiencing that right now. But this is a good time to collect rain. And so I like to just stick a glass jar. I always like to work with glass. I just stick a glass jar or some sort of container outside and collect the rain. But the rain also can be used according to um the type of, of rain and rainstorms we have uh, elemental rain is what it's called so if you have a lightning storm and rain from that that sort of corresponds with the fire element if you have a really windy uh storm that corresponds with air and then if you have tree and 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 flower rain something just light and relaxing that corresponds with earth and the use of rainwater can be used uh for purifying to, uh, to amplify in your rituals for cleansing, um, people like to bathe in it. So you can do different things with that rainwater. And so I um, offer to you to just sort of do some research and see what works best with you. But that's just something really cool that I just personally started working with. So the other thing that I'm going to talk about is just how to make some basic body oil. This is a really good time to just, um, you know, take care of our skin. We're out in the sun. We're soaking it up. We want to smell good and, and, and really get um, inspired by these scents. So I use, once again, a glass jar or a bottle or something like this. Um, I'm famous for collecting even, I have plenty of <laughs> Jack Daniel bottles too that I use. Um, and so I like to use um, for summertime and for the solstice, some of the herbs that are used are calendula. And I just have, I, that's probably not coming through very well, but calendula, I have jasmine, I have chamomile. These are, are, are bright fragrances and herbs, yellow, the yellow um, and orange and reds are, are good colors. Um, I have also some rose flowers and rose petals. And then I have some rosemary and lavender. And I just basically take and pinch uh, a little bit off and I put it in the bottom of my glass jar. And the oil that I like to use on my body, I, sometimes I mix it up. So I have coconut oil, olive oil, almond oil. I might put a little bit of, little bit of that in there and maybe infuse it with some citrus oil. Citrus is very vibrant and bright and uplifting and energizing. And, and that's about it. I mean, you can add the herbs according to how uh, strong you want the smell. I often will sit it out in the sun. If we had a bright sunny day, sit it out in the sun and that kind of helps infuse that. And you can just let it sit sometimes uh, for like a couple weeks um, longer. It holds very well. And it's something that is, is really relaxing. You can also use um, citrine and tiger's eye stones um, and crystals also um, around this time during the solstice to amplify the energy of your oils and and, and your water but this is uh, something very simple and if you want to do a room spray you can take it instead of using the oil you can use um, vinegar or alcohol and that uh, and use a spray bottle and then now you have room spray so uh, thank you for letting us share that with you today and I'm going to turn it back to Kenyatta to close us out. Thank you, excuse me. Thank you all so much for joining us for this summer solstice ritual and for joining us in smashing the patriarchy and uplifting divine masculinity. We hope that you have a blessed summer solstice. Bye. Bye. -bye.